Hello. Hey, Chris. Justin here. How's it going? Good. How are you? Well, you know, I got some really crap news. Oh, great. You and Ricky aren't going to be getting regular phone calls to update you on your listing because now it's officially sold. Oh, you had me going. I was thinking it's all true. <laughs> By the way, say hi to YouTube. This clip may make it on the internet. <laughs> awesome. So I'm so stoked. My, uh, my sunglasses came in. When you're working in front of blue light. Why, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? But yeah, they block blue light wave. Those are the Aren't we the coolest? <laughs> they like, like go down here though. I can use these for my theater room. <laughs> you look like you belong. <laughs> the, um, Did you put them on? Yeah. Say so everybody's wearing the swan with snow. What do you think? Drink, just drink wine. You don't need a blue glasses. Oh, take a blue. Should we should we drive for this episode, Jamie? What drive? Yeah, that'd be cool. You think we should drive? Yeah. Are you still eating? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in the car and do. Episode three, Capital Region Real Estate Show. Whoa! Oh. First off, let's go to Starbucks. Are you warm enough? I'm okay. You always change the temperature in the car, so I was <laughs> I just want to make sure you're okay. Oh, sweet. Hey, cool. Say hi to YouTube. Bye bye. What's up, social media? Justin LeFavor from the Empower Real Estate Group, hanging out with Sandra Amrish. Sandra Amrish. We're uh, doing the third episode of the Capital Region Real Estate Show, hanging out here in the beautiful neighborhood of Wolf Willow. Why? Because it's nice to go for a walk sometimes <laughs> and talk about real estate. Let me grab my coffee. So what are we doing? We're talking about new stats, buying, selling, investing, things that affect you and your real estate goals if you are in the Edmonton, Alberta Capital Region here in the Great White North. Mm -hmm. It's not white but it is great but it will be getting white very soon right be very soon. it's getting a little bit cold the leaves are falling off the trees and so to kick things off for episode three let's jump right into stats with sandy all right so the average price for all residential sales is three hundred and seventy one thousand six hundred and sixteen dollars breaking that down into single family homes it's four hundred and forty thousand three hundred and thirty all right and the duplex townhomes is three hundred and forty nine thousand nine hundred and fifty six dollars and lastly, the condos are $251,706. So in terms of uh, days on market, how long something is taking to sell? Sandy, how long is it taking the average residential listing to sell? 56 days. And then Sandy, in terms of uh, some of the trends that we're seeing, what was the absorption rate for the month of September, which was last month? Yes, it was 15.76%. Uh, so what that means is for every 100 houses that went on the market, I'm going to average down 15 of those went sold. So in terms of the trends that we're seeing then with absorption over the last three or four months, Sandy, what's the trend looking like? It's downward. A downward trend. And what does that mean? It means less people are selling and less people are having success of selling. And then what other trends are we seeing in the marketplace right now, Sandy? All right, well, we're seeing that the inventory is up, but the sales are down compared to this time last year. So inventory is up eight and a half percent and the sales is down eight percent. Rounding though. Whew! It's getting a little bit cold out, eh? <laughs> it's a little breathy. Okay, so before we turn into popsicles in Wolf Willow, what's the uh, levels of inventory like? Is it a buyer's market or a seller's market? That's a question we get asked quite a lot. The real answer is, it depends on what your goals are, but the generic answer is? It's a buyer's market right now with 6.35 months worth of inventory. What Sandy means by that is, if you were to not list any new properties on the market and we were just selling at the current rate that we're selling at, it would take over half a year to sell every single listing that's on the market. Okay, it's getting really cold. Let's go back in the car. <laughs> so now it's time for the rich and the cheap. So in terms of uh, really expensive homes that have sold, this is kind of fitting. We're hanging out in the neighborhood of Wolf Willow where there are many high-end homes. Uh, but unlike the last couple months, we're actually seeing an increase in the number of homes selling in the seven-figure or million-dollar-plus range. So 
get this, we had 14 listings sitting at a million dollars or more, but we had 16 sales selling in the seven figure territory. And what that means is there's a couple of listings that were just under the million dollar mark in the high $900,000 range that ended up selling for a million dollars and then a million sixty thousand dollars. So they sold over asking and they sold relatively quick, especially given stuff in that price range tends to take quite a lot of time to sell. The highest price for million dollar listings was for a listing over in Rutherford, which went for just over $1.6 million. And that's pretty significant because the average seven figure listing sold for just under a million one hundred ninety thousand dollars last month and the median sales price was sitting at a million one hundred thirty thousand dollars so now that we've gone over what's sold in edmonton over the seven figure level let's go to sandy and talk about really expensive acreages All right, so we're not about to drive out to the country because uh, that would take too long. So we're hanging out instead in front of the country club. So Sandy, acreages, million dollars, what sold last month? So there were four listings, three of which were actually in the Sturgeon County area. The highest listing actually went for 1.65 million, which was on the market for 77 days. So the lowest of the four listings sold in 172 days, selling for a price of $1,139,000. And let's get back in the car, cause it's cold. All right, so we figured we'd take a quick trip downtown uh, for this next little segment. And behind us here, we've got the Monaco 1, we've got the Monaco 2, we've got the twin towers of the Icon 1 and 2 on 104th Street. And then behind Sandy is the beautiful Energy Square. It's that bright orange thing that makes sunsets and sunrises on Jasper Ave. Look amazing, check it out. So Sandy, yep. cheapest condo in Edmonton. Cheapest condo in Edmonton is located in, our, in the Westwood community and it sold for $61,500. It was a one bedroom condo. Shout outs to Dave Tomchik. Good job getting that one sold. And then the cheapest house. The cheapest house is in our Macaulay community and it sold for $111,000. Yes, we drove all the way downtown just for this. Now, <laughs> we're gonna go back to the office. Shout outs to Agro Developments. We're about to drive right by your new development on 124th Street. It's amazing what these guys have done. They had the old building. Uh, they had like a bed and breakfast and a nice cafe on the main floor. And what they ended up doing is removing brick by brick every single one of the bricks in the facade of this beautiful old building. They're gonna be putting it back together as they build a high rise in the exact same place. Check this out. And we're back. And that's the show. So if you're in the market to uh, get a fresh house, possibly figure out what yours is worth, feel free to call Sandy at... 780-667-7699. Get empowered. Talk to you soon. Sure got a lot of stuff to carry. <laughs> Look at all that stuff. <laughs> that was, your impersonation of me earlier was on point. I, I think it was. Let's <laughs> let's let's rewind it and see it again. So you can't be there on Tuesday? No. We'll just get Jamie to wear leopard colored socks and do her best Sandy impression. Do it. I don't know what it would be though. <laughs> I actually do don't. Do Sandy impression. Here, here, here. Get, get, get out of the chair. Get out of the chair. Go. I, go. What would I, I, what? I don't know what to do. Here, well, walk in like you're Sandy. Walk in like you're Sandy. Well, it'd just be me, it's fine. You're not How gonna do it? I don't know. Be over exaggerative, it's funny. Just do it. Do it before I do it. You I do it. it. No, 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 you gotta do it first. <laughs> just go. How do I always come in? I come in. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Here, Justin, I'll video you come in. Here. Okay, here, I'll be you. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and do it. He'll do a better job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't wanna. So, yeah, you know how to run the camera, you're good. 
Yeah, but I'm over here. I don't want them to see how you're prepping for this. Well, well, then, well then don't, 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 don't aim this way. I'm not aiming. I'm oh. aiming on beautiful Jay. I like how he has so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's bang on so far. <laughs> That's so true. Okay, come in. <laughs> Okay, thank you kindly. Um, <laughs> with, with respect, if I, if I could... <laughs> can, can I call you back? <laughs> hey guys. That's <laughs> <laughs> my money Sandy impression. <laughs> Oh my god, I need to plug something in. We have a we have a plug-in. Oh, oh my bad. Okay, what are you guys doing? Uh, yeah! You know! What happened? He scared me to death! He I think I scared me all the time! He just comes in without saying a word! What's that, what's, that, what's, that, what's that hairy thing on there? It's a microphone. Oh my yeah, God. I think I broke it. <laughs> Did you? I think so. That's a notch on the belt. How are you, Jeff? Splendid. Splendid. I swear to God, he's making a collage of these tapings that he does with me. <laughs> and now, quotes with Jamie for the month of October. Okay, first quote. Believe in your infinite potential. Your only limitations are those you set upon yourself. Roy T. Bennett. That was <laughs> Quote number two. Number two. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. Robert Collier. You Google Robert Collier? I didn't Google him. Why is that a bad thing? No, Robert Collier oh, okay. is fantastic. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, trust yourself. Create the kind of self that you'll be happy to live with for the rest of your life. Golda Mir. And, if you don't learn to control your thoughts, you'll never learn how to control your behavior. Joyce Meyer. I should totally pay attention to that one. <laughs> it's true. Me too. Close to Jamie. Yes. Oh, Brad. 